uh, so far here a, um, um, uh, a widget list page right, that uh, shows uh, several widgets that have been added to a page. Right, right now they're static. Uh, next week they, they will become to be, uh, to be uh, they'll, they'll start becoming um, dynamic, dynamic content, right? So that you know, depending on which page you go, you have different content, right? Different widgets, different images, different YouTube videos, and so on and so forth, right? Um, all right, so so let's uh, let's work on, on some of the the editors that, that that we might want to use for each one of these. So if it's a if it's a uh, uh, heading um, widget like this, like uh, size three or size one or whatnot. Uh, this should take you to the editor uh, for the uh, for the heading, right? And um, and I believe the um, uh, the assignment, uh, uh, yeah, there it is, right? There's a widget heading um, uh, editor that allows you to edit that, right? Uh, so let's uh, let's uh, create a, a page for that, right? And let's see, let's uh, copy that the widget list. Uh, we're gonna do away with most of it. Actually, no, let's copy maybe. A website edit. Let's put it in here because it already has a form, right? So we can go faster. So we'll, this will be widget. What, what what do we call it? Widget heading. Widget heading. Maybe widget heading edit would be a better a better name. Widget heading edit. Okay. Uh, and um, and let's uh, change the uh, the 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 name at the top of the heading that this says. We should be called widget edit. Widget edit. Uh, maybe maybe should be called uh, e um, heading editor or something. Maybe that's a better name. Uh, and uh, it'll be container fluid. We don't want a left hand side, so I'm going to remove the left hand side. Um, we don't want the left hand side. So this is. Let's see. Where is it? Row. We don't really want rows, so we'll remove that. There we go. And we don't want columns either. Oh, well, somebody was suggesting that it would be a good idea that these editors uh, should also have uh, like a left-hand side and a right-hand side. Hmm. Nah, let's leave it like that. Um, all right, so we have an editor, and the editor for the widget should look like this, right? We have the name of the widget, right? And the name of the widget, uh, we have a value that says um, maybe uh, top heading, right? Uh, and then has a, a text, the actual text that goes in the widget, right? So this is text uh, for this over here. And uh, for for text, uh, the, the, this would be um, text, and the name would be text, right? And the actual content uh, might be what is it? Uh, U.S. Senate reaches compromise. U.S. Senate reaches compromise. I haven't heard that in a long time. Um, and uh, and the last one is a drop down that allows you to select the uh, size, right? So let's uh, let's change this with the, with the size, size. This is for size, and this would be a drop down. And now to implement drop downs, uh, we use the select element, right? And for the select element, uh, we have here size. Uh, we're also going to paint it with a form control. Uh, and have different options here, and the options are going to be the various sizes that are available, right? And there are only six of them, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have uh, two, three, four, five, and six. And these are the values that are displayed to the end user, right? Um, but uh, so this, this, this maybe you could give it, um, you know, an explanation. So this is large, right? And this is this is smallest, right? And this is um, and this is or maybe this could be extra large or something, right? And this could be large. Uh, this could be medium. Right? This is uh, this is small. Uh, large. 
larger. <laughs> and this is large, larger, and extra large. Okay. Uh, so, and uh, so this is uh, this is widget heading, and presumably we're going to get here from the widget list, right? If we click on the hyperlink uh, for the cog, right? For the cog for any of these of these headings, right? So let's uh, let's create here a hyperlink out of this out, out of these cogs, right? Uh, that are going to take us to a widget heading edit. There it is, right? So let's try that out. See if that works. So if you click on this, uh, it takes to the heading editor, right? Uh, where you have a drop down, right? And you have the the other two fields. Notice that the select also is flush with the button, right? So uh, you would also apply. We want to apply this across the entire uh, set of input fields, right? So we can we can we we can go to these our styles, right? And apply our you know, five pixel margin, right, uh, down uh, also to the select elements, right? So select with a form control, form control, right? There it is. So now we have that consistent. And, and I would ask you the same thing, right, to please be consistent uh, all across your project uh, with the gutters, the spacing between the elements, everything being nice and flush. Everything being nice and and, uh, and um, aligned with one another, and you see that with with uh, Bootstrap is pretty easy to do, right? Nevertheless, I always see tons of projects that do not follow this, right? So the idea is that you practice it in your assignment. You see me do it, you practice it in the assignment on your own, completing some of the other pages, right? And then it says, okay, well now that I feel confidence having practiced it, let me go and try to do it myself on the project, right? Regardless, I always see that there's, you're missing some consistency across the project, but try your best. Uh, all right, so we have an editor for, for that and for the, for the heading um, and with the delete. And perhaps you have an OK button that would navigate back to the list of, web, of widgets. Uh, so for that, uh, we can take a look at the editor. And on the right-hand side, uh, we have a plus button, right? It's this one over here, this plus button, which we can change uh, to be an OK button, which is a checkbox, right? And that checkbox, uh, we can go back to uh, the widget list. So widget list, when we click on the OK button, it goes back to the widget list. Uh, or when we click on delete, we should also go back to uh, widget list, right? So let's, cha let's change the uh, delete button the delete button, where is the delete button? There's a delete button. We want to go back to uh, widget list. All right, so delete button and the OK button, they both go back to the widget list. Yes? Um, all right, so similarly, uh, the other two, um, I'll, I'll, I'll do, the, uh, I'll do the, uh, this one over here, the, the image, um, only because it introduces a new input input field of type uh, file uh, of type file. So let's so let's uh, let's uh, work on that. All right, so I'm going to copy the uh, widget heading because it has lots of stuff we can reuse, and I'm gonna I'm gonna copy paste, and this will be uh, image. And the image, uh, I'll change the heading at the top, so this will be the image editor, and they both have. They both have names, they both have text. It has a couple more fields here, the URL and the width. Uh, I'm gonna leave that to you. I'm gonna do the upload down here, right? So the upload down here, it doesn't have a size. It doesn't have a size. Uh, instead, it has this, this upload button, right? So let's, uh, have a, uh, let's uh, add an input field. Uh, and to do that, you, it is of type file type file. So type file allows you to navigate to your local file system, right? right? And uh, this one you can also style it. You can style it to a degree, right? Um, it is not as stylable as the other elements, right? And you'll see that in a minute. So let's, let's add here an ID file and let's do a label here uh, for the file. And this is 
uh, upload, upload, right? Uh, and uh, we come to this file, we come to this website, I'm sorry, to this page uh, from the list editor, right? If we click on the image, where is the image? Image, image. Uh, there's the image, right? So we want this to be the hyperlink that navigates there, right? And this would be href that goes to the image editor, right? Uh, so let's see if that works. If I click here, it navigates to the image editor, right? Notice how ugly it looks, right? Um, and um, and really, you can't do much about it, right? It's a um, it's a uh, even the text, it says no file chosen, choose file, and things like that. Uh, uh, you can't overwrite much. Okay. Most, most developers, what they do is that they uh, create an image, right? And they, they put it in on top of it, right? To hide the original rendering, right? Because it's so ugly, right? Okay? Um, and, uh, and, and putting the image on top of it is... It's, it's, more or less the same way we added and added this this div on top of our, uh, our our image here on top of all the widgets. Same technique, right? You can put a div that is absolutely positioned, right? That sits right on top of your uh, of that uh, in, in input field, right? And the reason it can't be styled uh, is that uh, it's a uh, is that um, it's it's considered to be a uh, security uh, issue. Right, uh, since it allow it's allowing you, it's a file, it, it's a it's a um, it's a control uh, that al is allowing you to browse your local file system, right, from a website that belongs to someone else, right. So it's you know it's often considered to be a uh, a security risk, right. That so wait a minute, you're allowing someone else to navigate my file system. How's that, right? So so it's it's fairly uh, protected. From intrusion, only the mouse, right, can actually select and navigate the the local file system. This cannot be automated. Right? There's no JavaScript that can automate the behavior of navigation, right? Uh, so, so you know, because of these security concerns, right, um, the uh, they they don't allow you to touch it too much, right? So the best you could do is put something on top of it, right, and and use logic on top of this other element, right? And so, like, you click on the div, or you click on a hyperlink, or you click on an image, right? And then you can notify the 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 file chooser that hey, something was clicked over here. You get clicked, right? But after that, right? After that, you can't use any JavaScript to manipulate the file browser, right? Because of security concerns. Make sense? Only a human being can actually navigate this, which would be you, you know, uh, navigating your own file system. All right. Uh, so the file system uh, allows you to select one or more files. Uh, you can configure. Um, you can configure that. Um, um, where is it? Uh, hidden height. I forget which one. Um, is, it, is it multiple? <coughs> multiple. Yeah. You can say multiple, right? And then it allows you to select uh, more than one, right? So you can select you know, several files, right? Or if you don't have multiple, then you can only select one. Uh, now, uh, selecting it doesn't mean that it does anything with it, right? It's only selecting the file, right? Um, if you select it and you say OK, uh, the only thing that it does is that it grabs the name, right, and it keeps a reference to that file, right, so that so that later on JavaScript can then do certain other things to actually submit the file over and and start streaming the file across HTTP for the server to start copying over on the server side. Right, we'll do that a little later. Right, right now we're just um, you know learning how to just uh, play around with it. Okay. Uh, underneath, we're going to have a, an additional uh, um, button that allows us to. So notice that's too long here; we can't read it, right? Uh, so this is delete, uh, whereas this is upload, uh, upload, 
And, um, and this is really not going to do anything for now. Right? Eventually, we're going to put some JavaScript behind this to actually upload this to the cloud. Um, OK, so no href, so upload, and I'll change the color to be maybe success. Right, and you click on upload. It doesn't really do anything. All right? OK. Um, and we say delete, we go back, or we say OK, and it goes back to the widget list. All right? Okay.